<laughs> What's up? It's me. All right. So we're going to talk about something. Uh, CFG and the quote unquote negative prompt, which is not a real thing, by the way. Um, so we have our prompt set up. going to raise this to seven. One girl, short black hair, office business suit. You hit generate and it does the thing you expect. It generates the thing, right? Cool. Perfect. But lower CFG to zero. What do you think is going to happen? Just, just guess. L leave a, leave a comment about what you think is going to happen. Blue-haired beach rainbow girl. How about this? Maybe it's a fluke. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Red-haired beach rainbow girl. You think you think two you think two coincidences in a row is possible? How about three? Nope. Statistically improbable. All right. So CFG and the quote unquote negative prompt and the reason why it's not actually real and why we need to stop talking about this is because CFG requires a, an unconditional text embedding that contains empty text. All right. That's how CFG works is it compares the score between your conditioning and the unconditional conditioning and says, Hey, how far away should I go from that? Like what should, what should the difference in that score be? Do I want prompt adherence or do I want to do the, the stuff that I generated with the, uh, like the null tokens during the, the training process. Right. But the thing is the quote unquote negative prompt, which is not really a thing is just a repurpose of this empty text so that we could shove text into it. And the reason why that's important to know is because this was never meant to be used like this. It's the whole concept of positive and negative prompt are found nowhere on the hugging face pages that talk about stable diffusion. Um, and if you read the paper on classifier free guidance, it does not mention anything about putting text into that field and using it in this, in this manner. Uh, so the reason why I actually bring this up is oh, let me copy my embeddings really quick. Don't look at my positive prompt. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is because so one, this is not doing what you think it does. The, like the CFG negative prompt, this does not do what you think it does. And two, there is actually a lot of information to inside these things that you, you kind of do want for your image generation process. So this is all right. So CFG zero. So it's going to generate based on this, this quote, this conditioning string right here. So, and you see, like, you could, like, this is a bad quality image, like, quote unquote, you don't, you might look at it and say, like, oh, this is ugly. I don't want my generations to look like this. Like, kind of, except not really, because there's a lot of things in here that you do want, like colors, there's shading, there are, like, there's, like, shadows and lines and stuff, right? So, if you have stuff in here, and then you raise CFG very high, and you're basically saying, hey, hey, AI, Remember all those colors and those lines and that shading you had? I don't want any of that. And then you start getting this like these this strange pixelated like what is this? It's obviously a girl, like right? But there's like there's there's like dude, this is like just art. This is composed of art. This is like a mosaic. Like I like I like what's like it's like a kaleidoscope almost. It's like a like a like stained glass art that has been melted over the years because glass melts if you didn't know anyway uh so yeah this was never meant to have text in it so if you delete that you'll probably get a bad image because cfg super high but it's going to be slightly less bad just very slightly um so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say on the subject um negative prompt is not a thing um the way cfg works is by during the step process, it gets a score between this and then what should be empty conditioning. And then it kind of like goes away from that, that score difference based on your CFG value. So if you start having like weird artifacts or if you're having issues with CFG being too high, or more importantly, if you are a type of person who does resampling and you notice that you have problems with certain denoise values, it actually might be in your best interest to start leaving this blank at later stages down the pipeline because it was never meant to have text in it in the first place. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.